her empowerment message. Now, this is to clarify, like, overall message of these three goddesses that came out. Is true commitment comes from wholehearted living in body, mind, and spirit. When the Hindu goddess Pavarti rises up to greet you, she is acknowledging for your, your sincere devotion to personal growth. So that means are you going to be devoted to your own journey, to your own ways, with your intentions that are good? Because when your intentions are bad, uh-uh, doesn't matter who you believe in, the universe will see, oh, your intentions are bad? Okay. <laughs> and that's not, like, it's not, it's not good, but when your intentions are bad, that doesn't, it's not a good thing. When your intentions come from the heart, yeah, but mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a good thing. Oh my god, this is a very good message. Thank you, and this is for you all too. This is not just for me. Be true to yourself. Be true to who you are. Don't let anyone tell you who to be. Don't let anyone say, oh, no, that's, you know, if they don't like it, okay, fuck it. I like it. That's what I like. Shit. Fuck. And have compassion. And that's what Archangel Zadkiel says. Soften your heart with respect to this, whatever situation you are in. If you've just been feeling mad today. <laughs> soften your motherfucking heart today excuse my french don't mean to curse but fuck you guys know that i curse oh my god all right <laughs> let's get this done i'm tired that tired me out that really really tired me out. that was a big message though so, Sophia came out to let you guys know, when you're in tune with yourself, your true self, you're doing what you want to do, not because someone told you to do it. You're doing it because you feel it within your heart, your gut, you're trusting your gut the right way, and you have discernment. Everything Hestia, who also came out, you're going to feel right. It's going to feel good doing what you do. You're not going to be depressed. You're not going to feel sad. Every Anywhere, everywhere that you go is going to feel like home. Because home is within you. Home is within your heart. Home is within your mind, your body, and your soul. Once you, once you become in tune with that, then yeah. Motherfucking shit. Opportunities are about to be coming. Whoever hears this message, if you guys watch this later, or whoever, and like, opportunities are coming. Shit. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so happy for everyone. Myself too. This is for, every like, me. You got shit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's overwhelming. But you gotta be in tune with yourself. And don't try to get, um, don't surround yourself with people that you need to get approval from. And don't surround yourself with people that, um, what are they saying? Don't surround yourself with people that have, have confusing intentions. Meaning that, you know, example, someone gives you something. They're like, oh yeah, they're like, oh. And then you're like, oh, thank you so much. And then later on, you know, something fucks up. They're like, well, you remember that time where I bought, you know, motherfucker, get out my life. You don't need those people. Sophia said, I'm going to do my moonlight cards. I want to pull another Archangel card, but none of them, you know, Archangel wants to come out. Metatron is a big one for this whole month and week. Metatron is a very, um, everybody knows Archangel Michael, you know, he's fucking everywhere and shit, but, um, Metatron, not a lot of people know Metatron, he's a very good Archangel, and I, I work with him, cause he works with Indigo Children, 
<laughs> crystal children, children that have that are sensitive to uh, people's emotions. Uh, what you want to call it? Um, basically, empaths. I'm an empathic person. I feel people's energy. You know, just, and shit. Oh god, just okay. I'm wearing a robe, and I just realized I could. Hold on. I want another archangel card. Thank you, goddesses. Um, all right, because a new moon is coming up. Step out of your comfort zone. Ooh. What the? Oh. No. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yes. yes. Okay. So I'll step out of I always get that motherfucking card. That's for everyone. Everyone is. We always, everyone always hear that step out of your comfort zone because you never know what could happen. You never know what to expect and stuff. You know, at least you tried it. Shit. Is my phone dying? My phone is dying. Okay, it's probably gonna be one more card. It's just that my phone is fucking dying. This is my unicorn deck. I was gonna do my fairy deck, but I need to hurry the fuck up because it's gonna die. And I'm super tired because this is really draining me. And I have work tomorrow. And I need a paint. Doing a paint. A big fucking one. <laughs> big one. <laughs> Inside the gun. Unicorns on the corner. Very beautiful unicorns. I just need one card. I don't need a whole bunch of fucking cards. Just one card. No unicorns. Wait. Ooh. Just talking about intentions. That's an intention card. Look at that. Bruh. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. That. That is a. Uh... Ow. Okay. It says be clear. And decisive focus on what you really want and be bold with your request to the universe universe if you believe in the universe universe has a way of answering your fucking prayers doesn't matter what you believe in you know there's a higher power in every religion and stuff like that oh but um your intentions like what i just said your intentions matter if you have bad motherfucking intentions, it doesn't matter, like, a year or two later, it's gonna come back. Fucking karma. If you believe in fucking karma, that shit's gonna fucking come back. Shit, this is why. This is too much. That's... I'll read the bottom. Oof. Okay, you are an infinite being tapped into unlimited possibilities and you could choose and create your reality now. So choose a life that astounds you with its magnificence. Stand in your power as a co-creator with the divine and stay strong in your clear intention to live your highest life. Your intentions need to be fucking good. If your intentions are not good and I've seen it, I've 
done it before when my intentions were good when i was younger and stuff that shit comes back and it hits hard and it's not a good feeling it's like shit maybe i shouldn't have done yeah motherfucker maybe you shouldn't have done that because your intentions weren't good and the universe and whoever you believe in is like yeah um uh uh you need to change your motherfucking self so we're gonna put you through some shit because you did that damn That's what happens. Hold on. How do I off? I didn't realize that my speaker was on. So I've been. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to find a way to plug in my phone. Okay. You're about to see. Who's on here? I don't even know who's on here. Oh, fuck. John and Michael. Wow. Okay. Let's do that. Cause I just have on a robe, and that's probably not good to do right now. So yeah. Really not good to do. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm trying to set up in a way. Okay, there we go. My bowl. I was eating broccoli. Can I set it up like that? So I'm basically gonna see. Hmm. Can I hold it in my lap? Probably. Okay. Let's hold it in my lap. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to paint. Okay, so step out of your comfort zone. Wow. Hold on. I'm getting the book. This really doesn't want to stay. <laughs> okay, go in between my legs. We're all adults. Go in between my legs. There you go. So step out of your comfort zone. What is this? I just saw it. North Node. What the fuck is this? Give me a moment. Damn. I mean, that means like whatever resonates with you, meaning whatever feels like, you know, it makes you think like shit. Maybe I, yeah. Yeah. Then that, like, then that's for you. But I'm trying to find this motherfucking card and I can't, like, so I could give you a full description on what it means. But like I said, I don't, I don't really do tarot cards because I don't read why do i feel hot i feel very hot i'm tired oh here we go come on i'm almost there come on no i can't find it i mean it doesn't really need it oh there it goes so, ooh, there's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. <laughs> I'm going to put the card in the book right here. See? Um, if you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason. It says right there. This card is all about living your life purpose, Oof. which is possibly what you've asked about. It's er excuse. <laughs> Whenever I start getting messages from spirit, I I burp a lot because communication just a vessel just coming through. It's urging you to dare. Yeah, to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead your life you incarnated to live? Right there. 
If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? Why the fuck did I wait so long to fucking do this? You know, everybody's so, you know, just to get off track a little bit, everybody's so scared of this, especially hardcore fucking Christians. Oh my God. Not realizing that this is just another tool for, you know, yeah, it's just a tool, just like, just, just like how we have tools to, oh, I got 20 seconds. I'm going to start again because, like, I have a lot more messages to get out because I keep burping. So, yeah, I'm going to go live again because I, this, I need a lot to get out. Okay, I'll be back in, like, 15 seconds. <laughs>